Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Aquarius their weekly love read. I'm going to apologize in advance. My dog is driving me crazy and walking all around. Um, I did not want to lock her up for three hours or so while I did this. So uh, I don't think this is going to work though. We'll do, we'll see what we can. All right. Um, so today we're going to do uh, you, them, and the connection Aquarius. This is for the week of January 10th through the 16th. Um, we are going to get a Sacred Healing Journey card from Angelic Revelation 144. Um, a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message Volume 2. Um, Heart Songs of the 90s from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. And we're going to finish off your read with a Moonology card. Um, just keep in mind these are general reads. So take what resonates with you, Aquarius, and leave the rest. Um, if you feel like this is definitely not to read, then feel free to check... Um, your moon or your rising signs um, and if you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are there is a link in the description box below that will take you there if you want a personal read there's also a link in the description box below that will take you to my web page um, and you can figure out how to set that up it's pretty easy and it's pretty uh cheap this dog okay oh no aquarius everything was looking so good and then i see the bottom of the deck um, so Aquarius, we have the Three of Swords energy as the bottom of the deck. Um, this is heartbreak, sadness, loss. My dog. <laughs> Say hi, Violet. Say hi, Violet. Um, you have definitely been going through some things. But underneath that is the Justice card, which is a balancing out. This could be divorce or this could just be like a balancing out of a situation. Um, but definitely heartbreak and sadness on the bottom of the deck. Um, you are showing... Oh, Lord, no. Get down. You are showing up as um, the Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Sorry. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this. Um, I feel like you have been focused on something that you feel like you missed out on, a missed opportunity. This is not a new theme here, Aquarius. But you have this glorious bowl of something wonderful right in front of you, and you have these three bowls of what you no longer have, and you're focused on what you've lost instead of what you have. Uh, people tend to do that, right? We tend to forget about our blessings we have right in front of us because we're not thinking this is what we want. We want more, we want something different. But sometimes I think we need to focus on our blessings, um, even if we've lost something to make movement forward. You're kind of showing up still in this very protective energy. You're keeping yourself guarded with the four of pentacles, keeping yourself closed off. You're not swiping right. <laughs> but I think you definitely can and will be victorious in love. That's what the Six of Wands is. It's uh, love conquers all, love wins. Um, but you are having to get out of these fours here, this uh, Four of Cups, this Four of Pentacles, this missed opportunity, guarded energy. But you can be and will be victorious in love. I see it coming. I see it coming, Aquarius. Um, your person... Um, they're showing up as a very fiery, passionate, sexy, flirty person. The Page of Wands is often good news, good messages, um, flirty kind of energy. So it could be a fire sign, but there's also the chariot, which could be a cancer, or <clears throat> cups, which is a water sign, uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, so your person's showing up. <laughs> Stop, puppy, come over here. With a fiery, passionate, flirty, sexy energy. But they, um, I think they're walking away from a situation. I don't think it's you necessarily. I think they're walking away from this bowl of goodness. But they're walking towards the sun, which is their joy and happiness. Um, but they're kind of um, ready to take action to move forward. But they have a choice to make. This could be between you and someone else. This could be between work and you. This could be a choice in any kind of situation. But there's a dark horse and a, a light horse. So um, this person is going to be moving forward, making a decision because they've walked away from something. The connection between you guys, I think, will be a good one. Um, it is going to be fulfilled. It's going to be one with emotional fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Um, it is going to be very slow, though, in energy. So there's a page of pentacles, which is someone who brings good news or messages, but the pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the deck. So there's the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, which is a new, stable, solid, committed start. Could be a new job. So it could be someone in your, your job if you have a, you're on a new job. It's a, a stable, committed, loyal, responsible, grounded 
new relationship. It's a solid relationship. Slow moving, but will be one that brings you emotional fulfillment. So that's good news, Aquarius. You need some good news. Um, you and Capricorn, your your spreads were super quick. Um, I do think you know this this three of swords energy under here on the bottom of the deck is kind of transferring into your fours here. Um, but I think you will quickly be moving to the six of wands, which is vic victorious in love. So let's get a couple of sacred healing journey cards from Angelic Revelation one four four for Aquarius's party animal. Partying to the extreme. Are you partying to the extreme, Aquarius? <laughs> Headed in the right direction. Sorry, my dog is squeaking her toy. I apologize for the distracting noise. And one last card. Adventure, new experiences. Yeah, I think you're definitely, uh, perhaps you're out living it up, partying, Maybe indulging a bit too much, but I definitely think um, in terms of your connection, you're headed to the right, you're headed the right way, you're heading in the right direction with adventure and new experiences. So I think you have some new stuff coming your way, especially with the Ace of Pentacles because it's a new start. Um, we have the White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. Aquarius, it says, I can't face you right now. The intensity between us scares me. Maybe that's you. I don't feel like that's your person. A thousand lifetimes with you would never be enough. And things aren't always as they seem. Things aren't always as they seem. All right, guys, we are going to get a Heart Songs of the 90s from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are song lyrics from songs in the 90s. Um, this song might resonate just with you. And you might be like, oh, this, this is my read because that was my song back in the day. Or you might think of a person when you hear the song. Or it might just be that you need to listen to the lyrics. So we're going to get a card for Aquarius. What card do we have for Aquarius from Celestial Forecast by Carrie? Emotions from Mariah Carey. I feel good. I feel nice. I've never felt so satisfied. I'm in love. I'm alive. Intoxicated. Flying high. It feels like a dream when you touch me tenderly. I don't know if it's real, but I like the way I feel inside. And then it goes on to say, you've got me feeling emotions deeper than I've ever dreamed of. Oh, I thought my dog was going to knock my stand over. <laughs> let's hope not. All right, let's hurry up and try to get this Moonology card in. Moonology Oracle card from Yasmin Boland um, for Aquarius to finish off the read. Well, they all just jumped out there. So let's see. One card for Aquarius. Um, expect powerful change. New moon and new moon eclipse. Yes, I think it is time to expect powerful change, Aquarius. I think yeah. some things are really going to be shifting and moving in your favor. Um, I think you're going to have a new start. It's going to be a slow one, but it will be a very fulfilling start in love and a, a solid, committed relationship. So here comes my dog. You're starting to go crazy. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all your support. Um, sorry for all the background noise. Take care. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.